What's up traders? I'm back at it again with another live analysis of my favorite currency pair USD czar, dollar czar. Now today's a public holiday but the market is still open and this is one of the great benefits of being a trader is that even though it's a public holiday there's still opportunities out there for uh, me to make some money in this market. But yesterday I was paying close attention to USD czar when this whole no confidence vote in Zuma was happening in Parliament. And the reason why I was paying close attention to this currency pair is because of one thing. And that is because the markets are driven by fear and greed. The markets are driven by fear and greed and the major banks and institutions know this fact. And they know this and usually use things like major news events, major political events, I mean parliament, no confidence votes and things like that to carry out and fulfill their objectives. And what is their objectives? Their objectives of the major banks and institutions is to induce retail traders to take the opposite side of their trades. Now, as a smart trader, when you know this fact and you know that the major banks and institutions uh, like to participate in major news events and political events such as yesterday, you know that when the banks are likely to be participating in the market, you know that there will be major moves in, this, in the markets because um, at the end of the day, the banks and institutions are the ones that actually move the market. So when you know this fact and you can get on the right side of the trade, you are highly likely to catch the big moves that happen when the banks step in the market and you're highly likely to make some money in this market. And that's what happened yesterday when I was watching Dollar Czar uh, with this whole no confidence vote in Zoom and Parliament. Um, I went long Dollar Czar because um, of things such as supply and demand and volume and understanding the real price action and understanding again what the real intentions of the banks are and that's why i was able to catch the major moves that happened yesterday when the votes came out and um, went long dollars are and yeah um that's how it's done guys and another classic example of this is um is last week when we had um, we had the NFP release and um, again NFP a major news release um, in the market that affects the dollar and again was able to catch this move and was able to go long on dollar czar because I understood what the intentions of the banks were. So if we look at the dollar index right now you can see that if we zoom out the charts we had major major bearish momentum um, in the dollar index which meant that a lot of people were selling the dollar but then prior to the nfp release um, that you can see here in this big move we can see that yes we had bearish momentum but then the market started to slow down and the bearish momentum started to weaken and we had a major pause in the market a week before this NFP was released last week, Friday. So you understand things like this and you use things like supply and demand and you use things like volume analysis. You'll understand what the real intentions of the banks were and hence why you can see that we had this major, major bullish momentum and bullish market sentiment in the dollar index and another reason why I was long dollar czar yesterday because I understood the overall market sentiment was still bullish on the dollar which is why when um, the whole parliament thing was happening yesterday you could see we had um, we had a minor pullback in the market so we had a minor 
bearish move and when you see things like that you understand that obviously the banks are trying to induce the retail traders to to go short because what their actual intention was is actually to go long so when you see things like that and you use things like supply demand and volume analysis it's easy for you to take the opposite side of the trade and which is why I went long and able to catch the major move that happened yesterday when the votes came out and you know make some good money from this and that's really what I wanted to stress in this video is that the banks will use fear and greed and things like political news and major news events to you know induce retail traders to take the opposite side of the trade so that they can fulfill the real intentions and as a smart trader if you can understand that then you're highly likely to be on the right side of the trade first of all and to secondly catch the major moves and you know see your trade play out positively and quickly because of things like that so yeah that's it guys i mean we all had our ears and eyes glued to parliament yesterday and i just hope that you know you guys did make some money from this and if you didn't that's okay because there's countless and infinite opportunities in this market to make uh, money so when you understand things like this next time when events come out and when you see things like supply and demand and volume analysis play out then you'll, you'll have confidence to take the trade when everyone else is selling and you know what the real intentions of the banks are and you'll you know have another opportunity to make um, some money from this so that's it guys if you like I like I say man if you don't have confidence in Zuma then have confidence in your trading to give you the real results that you want which is to obviously make some money out of this so enjoy the rest of your holiday and Happy pup collecting, guys.